Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about the narcissist baiting. Many people class baiting as something a narcissist will do when you put up a boundary. But baiting can happen at any point within a relationship with a narcissist. And it can happen with narcissistic friends, family, partners, parents, bosses, whoever the narcissist is or was in your life. Baiting is used by a narcissist to provoke an emotional response from us so that they can have the power over our emotions and ultimately over our thinking so that they can further their control over us. Baiting is used to make people feel scared, guilty, responsible, anxious, even hopeful, which makes it easier for the narcissist to manipulate people further. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support. If you are new to the channel, this channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder to give you more information of the people you might have been with throughout your life, the people you might be around in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. When it comes to a narcissist, if they feel threatened in some way, they feel a need to pull someone else down to then feel better within themselves, as the narcissist will blame the other person for threatening them in the first place, real or perceived. The narcissist can be triggered by feelings of disrespect, shame, rejection, embarrassment, humiliation, fearing abandonment, just to name a few, which often causes narcissistic injury, leading to narcissistic rage, leading towards the narcissist abusing others. And this can be sexually, emotionally, financially, spiritually, mentally or physically. The narcissist will use the other person's weaknesses to go after those as this hurts the other person the most. When we get defensive and justify ourselves, explain ourselves, fight back, the narcissist will continue to get us going so that the narcissist can blame us, play the victim, leading us to feeling bad. The narcissist gaining attention as we work harder to please them. Fawning to their behaviour, blaming ourselves and walking on eggshells around the narcissist, which confirms in their mind it was our fault. It's never your fault. Abuse is abuse and there is no excuse. Narcissist personality disorder is a reason behind their behaviour. It is never to excuse their behaviour. A narcissist will love bomb their fast involvement, flattery, excessive gifts to bait people into the relationship, especially if they feel their needs are no longer being met in the relationship they are currently in. A narcissist will intentionally taunt someone to anger them by saying or doing things to annoy, hurt upset or frustrate them, to taunt them deliberately, to hook or trap or entice someone and getting someone to do what the narcissist wants them to do. A narcissist will set the environment to cause you stress, anxiety, irritability, frustration or intrigue. A narcissist will do all they can to get you feeling out of sorts, to get you to justify, defend or explain yourself to them and they will use your explanations against you to get you into a mood so they can blame everything on you, to escape accountability for the things in which the narcissist actually do to you. The narcissist will cause that intrigue. They will keep secrets from you. They will hide where the money goes. They will cause that intrigue. They will give bits of information, but not the full story. They will tell you about someone they've met that's the same sex of you just to set your feelings into that where you're not quite sure what's happening, but they'll not give you the full story. They will give you bits of information or they will lie by omission to cause us to question ourselves, to question 
them to wonder what on earth is happening. They will claim they don't want to argue when they mean they don't want to discuss the things that you could do with discussing with them. Or they will say, don't you trust me if you ask them about something you know they've done and they don't want you to know any further information. They want you to feel guilty for asking them in the first place because they believe they're entitled to do as they please and you shouldn't ask them anything. So they can get away with their behaviour while we are left questioning our reactions to their actions. They will say things such as, why do you need to know? I never said that. Or I never told you anything because I knew you'd act like this. I never lied to you. When they lie through omission, they will turn it around and just say that they never lied to you. If you continue the conversation by saying, but you didn't tell me, they will keep going and going to get you to react because you've questioned their sense of entitlement. They want to keep us confused and they don't want to face any consequences for their actions. They will throw around false accusations in order to get us to react, in order to cause reactive abuse. They will use the things that matter the most to us so we defend ourselves to deny or justify to them most passionately. They will provoke fear. They will intimidate, isolate, slander, be aggressive or those subtle, I wouldn't do that if I were you. And those obvious threats of, if you do this, ow to cause that fear and that panic within you. A narcissist will future fake those false promises to give you the false hope of the future to control you in the present by using your future against you. They will claim that they want the same things as you and offer you those same things, whatever it is that's important to you you. When the future arrives, they'll blame you for themselves not delivering, then get you to work harder to please them by offering more future fakes. However, they sell these future fakes as if they want them too, so we feel like we're letting them down if we don't work harder to please them. They will breadcrumb you. They will deliver on some promises just enough to keep us living in hope that if we change, they will be the person they sold themselves to be. Narcissistic people will guilt trip. They will use our compassion, our empathy against us to break down our boundaries. They will pity play and blame shift to get us to work harder to please them. Narcissists will flirt with others in front of you or they'll talk highly of another in a way that brings you down to create those feelings of jealousy. When you go to have an adult conversation with them as they lack the empathy to care, they're doing these very things to control your emotions and they will tell you that you're jealous, you're insecure, you're hung upon your past. Again, so that you question who you are, doubt your thoughts and feelings that are there to help and protect you and not the very behaviour of the narcissist that's making you feel the way you do. They will humiliate, shame or blame you in some way. Then when you stand up for yourself, they will claim they were only joking or that you cannot take a joke, you're too sensitive, stop being so serious. They are testing boundaries by getting you to question your reactions and not their toxic actions. When you stand up to them, they can rage or fall silent to either confuse you, intimidate you into conforming to them to get you to chase them or so that they can further their control over you. With a narcissist, it's all about power and control. It's hard to spot at the time when we are living it. It's hard to get our heads around it. It's hard to break free from it. However, breaking free is possible, and it's one of the best things you'll ever do, even if it doesn't feel like it when you first start breaking free and working on you. Learning the narcissist baiting helps us to recognise their manipulative behaviour, see what game they are playing and stand firm on our boundaries. We can retreat, rethink and only respond if we need to do so, which when we are unaware of their behaviour, it's not so easy. When we start to learn their behaviour and see which baiting tactic they are going to use or which one they are going to move into next as they 
genuinely follow that same pattern of behaviour, we can become more aware of what they are doing and what they are trying to get us to do and focus on staying in our reality with our thoughts and our feelings. How to handle. It's so easy to react and want to defend ourselves. It's incredibly easy to overlook their toxic behaviour, make excuses for their toxic behaviour, especially with their gaslighting. When we are the ones saying they're not that bad, it doesn't happen often, it was my fault. They are my parents, it's my best friend, I grew up with them. Who would employ me? What about the children? And these are the very things that a narcissist will plant into our subconscious to keep us trapped with them. Often limiting beliefs that keep us locked in a relationship we shouldn't be in. These are lies the narcissist feeds us. When we have to say it doesn't happen often, it shouldn't happen at all. Even when we are out, we can want to stand up for ourselves, let them know who we are in the hope they'll change to the person we want them to be, which is the person they sold themselves to be in the illusion of the beginning of the relationship. It's not a case of we want them to be someone they're not. We want them to be someone they claim themselves to be, not understanding that that person isn't who they are. Who they are is the person who lies, cheats, lets us down and hurts us. We have to remember they have a disorder. The more we react, the more we give them attention, the more we give in to their demands, the more control they have over our minds and our feelings. And the more it reinforces to the narcissist that they are superior, they are entitled to treat us how they want and they are in control. When we retreat, we can rethink and become more mindful of seeing their games for what they are and then only respond if we need to do so. Do not take what they say or do personally. Their opinions of you are not for you. When you're being baited, when they keep coming after you with game after game, you must practice self-care and look after yourself as they are energy draining. It can negatively affect your mental and physical health. If you can have people to talk to that understand their unbelievable yet believable behaviour of a narcissist. I shall add into the video description the the video that explains more on a narcissist baiting and the narcissist reactive abuse. I shall also add the links to the online courses which are just a step-by-step guide to overcoming narcissistic abuse to give you more understanding of what you might have been through. I am full for one-to-one coaching. I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link will also be in the description. Thank you very much for listening and go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.